Y'all already know what time it is. It's story time. Go ahead and sit back, relax, grab your little snacks. It's what it for the day. Okay, um, y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna title this, but I'm gonna get right into it. Before I do, give the video a like, a comment, leave a chicken, anything, that's our thing. Make sure you are subscribed, follow my social medias in the description, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I literally copied and pasted the link, so it's easy for you, it's easy. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna just get into it. Okay, <laughs> I don't be knowing where to start. So, okay, I went to the Galleria. I was supposed to be in and out this Galleria. Why did I park in the parking garage? I don't know. I feel like the parking garage, going to the Galleria is just the easiest for me. That's always where I've parked at. But there's an easier way because I be trying to go to Nordstrom's and Neiman's and stuff and just be in and out. But there's an easier way to park to just get up in there and get on out. But I did the parking garage this time. Now, <clears throat> don't do it. So I did my one, two. Nordstrom's got the samples that you can go in and make all your samples. They put a limit on the samples. They like, oh, two samples per person. Bitch, I'll be going up in there and getting seven samples per item, okay? So yeah, I did my one, two. Came out with a, a, a handful of samples like this. Mm -hmm. Girl, they got the perfume samples up in there. Just go to Nordstrom's. If you want to try anything in the world with makeup and perfume, go to Nordstrom's. They got it all. They got everything except for MAC because, you know, MAC is standalone. But yeah, so bitch, I was excited. Girl, I had a new, um, I had a whole new makeup kit by the time I was done. So I'm in a parking garage. This man, hey, 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 can, hey, can I, I'm trying to talk to you. Hold up a minute. Hold up. I look back. It's a man jogging towards me in the tightest jeans I have ever seen a nigga have on and been able to run in, right? So I'm just like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm okay, trying to wave him off. He's like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Following me to my car. Excuse me. Follow me to my car. So he like, oh, my name, Damn, I ain't thinking our name beforehand. I tried to start thinking about names beforehand. It don't be working. And y'all be giving me names. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me use my other phone to go look at the names y'all be giving me. Oh, y'all, I got it. I got it. I took a few sips of TP and it hit me. That's teleport if you ain't know. Y'all, he gave off that Sean essence. So I'm gonna call it Sean. And if y'all know who Sean is, I know y'all know who Sean is. Sean and Olivia, that little couple on TikTok. Yeah, he was giving Sean because the tightest pants, the tight shirts, and the dress shoes. And it's crazy because he dressed like that, but he didn't act how he dressed. It was like he was trying to be... A, a fake thug but a fake corporate thug i don't know anyway yeah he's like yeah my name is sean i'm da da da, da. i'm from and keep this in mind because the boy told me he was from tennessee literally tennessee right so he like yeah i'm from tennessee you know i'm i'm, I'm not i'm new around here and i don't know nobody i'm trying to get to know you from here maybe you could show me around and da 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 and another thing he liked to hear himself talk he is a talker and that's cool but one thing about it talkers they don't understand or notice when a woman is not interested because they too caught up and listening to their self and worrying and caring about their stuff that they not realizing like, oh, she's not even listening to me. She's not paying attention. She haven't looked me in my eye in 12 minutes because they just talking. So yeah, he talking, talking. He like, you from here? That's the only pause he gave me to talk. I'm like, yeah, I'm from around here. He was like, oh, okay. So what side of town you from? Yeah, you know, I just moved somewhere close over here. I ain't gonna say locations. I ain't gonna say locations because he did kind of live in the area by me. So maybe when I move, I'll go back and give y'all some fun facts about story times because I do believe in shit. I'll give y'all some fun facts about like story time and the stuff that I left out and fill in the blanks and stuff like that. But I gotta move again. Yes, I wanna move. So yeah, he is going on and on and on, talking, 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 talking. I could show you a whole new world, this, this, and that, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know why y'all literally, when he said a whole new world, I don't know why the theme song for Aladdin started playing in my head. So I'm like, okay, come on, Aladdin, come on and show me a whole new world. Because he looked like he, you know, he looked, he appeared like he had his stuff together. Um, mm. So he was like, um, what you about to get into? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, nothing. I was just going to go home and chill and try out all these new makeup samples that I got. But obviously, I ain't going to be able to do that right now because you want to do something. <laughs> but I ain't have no problem doing nothing with him, though. Um, because he, mind you, he wasn't ugly. I named him Sean. Like, I didn't know nothing about him at this point. It's not like he looked like Sean. The essence, the act, the personality, ick. It gave me the ick. And he reminded me of Sean because every time I see Sean and him talking, and his attitude, personality, and that like smugness he got going on, it just gives me the icks. 
everything about Sean give me the ick. So, yeah, but before I knew anything, I'm like, okay, he cute. He dressed nice, like got the dress shoes on, pants tight as hell, but you know, we can loosen them up or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, he was like, okay, um, I want to, what did he say? He said something. Oh, he said, you want to get some food? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. He was like, do you want to ride with me? So I'm like, nah, I prefer to take my car. Like, one, I don't, I mean, I know it's the parking garage to the mall, but I don't necessarily want my car sitting in the gallery of parking lot like i don't know what could happen somebody could see me leaving and tell my shit like i don't know i'll be overthinking but yeah i don't want to be that that far from my car because i didn't know where we was going for one and then for two if i want to dip i want to dip like i want my own car so i'm like nah i'll follow you or something but i don't want to ride together I like i want to keep my car with me because what <laughs> i'm not even at home like i don't know so he was like all right you can follow me whatever so we get in the car and i end up following him tell me why i follow him it wasn't a shopping mall but y'all know them places where they got um it's a food place here a nail shop next to it um somewhere where the car insurance place is you can get your hair blown out right there if you turn to the left they got a spa that they probably do happy endings that i don't know it was a little place like that now the area wasn't sketchy because it was like by the galleria but i'm just like what the what are we doing here so y'all we pull up into this um little shopping area whatever center i guess no, it wasn't even a shopping center y'all know what i mean though we pull up into there and it was a smoke shop there too he said he came to um get a vet because he wanted to just pop into the shops um the smoke shop right quick so um we get off the car and i'm like oh what we doing here like why we meeting at the smoke shop i thought you said you wanted to go get some food you tricked me he asked me if i smoked or vapor or anything like that and i'm like nah i don't do none of that and um at the same time we walking in and we just start looking around we looking at hookahs and they had so many different hookahs they had an ice um hookah a hookah that you put ice in and stuff kind of like a a bee a bomb well y'all know what i mean <laughs> it's too early i'm looking at the time it's too early in the video they ain't gonna snatch me they not gonna snatch me so um he was like yeah you want a little hookah for your crib and da 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 i'm like nah i don't really i just when my best friend came nah i did go out with days like a few months before and i had like a few puffs of the hookah wasn't feeling it but then when my best friend came this is like the first time i've smoked hookah in a long ass time so but at this time Oh, I gotta tell y'all about. Oh, I'm gonna tell the membership. I'm gonna tell the membership. Okay. <laughs> oh man, a time. Anyway, so literally forgot what I yeah, was. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, you want hookahs and stuff," and I'm like, "Nah, I don't do that. Do none of that." And he was like, "Um, looking for something real specific." Like I could tell that he was looking for something by the way that he was looking around. So I'm like, "What you looking for?" And he was like, "I'm looking for um pre rollers," and I'm like, "Pre rollers." I'm thinking in my head, this for a roller set like what what is a pre-roller but then it clicked to me i'm like oh he looking for like pre-roll jazz this is texas i know he ain't say he was from here and i don't even think it's legal in tennessee so why would you think that we have pre-rollers pre and he kept calling it pre-rollers and looking at me stupid when i called them pre-rolls i mean i know people say stuff different and when they're from different places but pre-rollers make me think of a roller set in the salon on a sunday morning i don't know why it just do so i'm like oh you mean pre-rolled pre-rolls pre-rolls <laughs> sorry <laughs> my tongue is doing weird shit. so he was like what pre-rollers and i'm like okay pre-rollers i guess so i'm like um i just brush it off i'm like oh, okay i don't think they got that here because that tree not legal in texas and he was like, well, I know some places got it. Like, you got to know the people. And some places do it on the side. You just got to know what you're looking for. Because I came, I, I've come across it before. And uh, another thing I noticed that he was kind of proper. <clears throat> but he was trying to, like, talk hood, you know? Like, he was trying to be down with the clique. I don't know. He, we talking back and forth. And I just remember saying it again. I'm like, oh, well, I doubt they have it here because it's not legal. And he was like, it's not legal here? And I'm like... Did you not just hear me the first time I said that? It's not legal here. And I feel like, I don't know. I thought everybody knew that. I don't know. But I guess when you're from a different state, maybe you don't know. So I was like, no, it's not legal here. And he was like, nah, I know somebody got the pre-rollers and da-da-da. And I'm like, I don't think, I really don't think that they got pre-rollers. Look, he got me saying pre-rollers. <laughs> I literally said that. But you could go ask the um the dude at the checkout for the cashier or whatever for um 
to see what they got or whatever. And he was like, yeah, I'm about to go do that. So I'm like, um, because he was like, oh, wait, 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 I'm missing a part. Because he was like, I didn't know it wasn't legal here. I'm from Arizona and it's legal there. So, you know, I just be walking in and da da da, da and I'll be getting it just like boom, boom, bow, like that. Basically, he was just talking so much. Honestly, I don't remember verbatim what he said because he said like so much. So, one thing I did catch is that he said he's from Arizona. Please do not ever play with me. Cause one thing about it, I got some good memory. You said you're from Tennessee, my boy. You from Tennessee. You from Tennessee. So, what was really good? So, I'm like, oh, I thought you said you was from Tennessee. And at the same time, now we at the checkout, and he just completely ignored what I said. And he asked him to do for what? For pre rollers. You guessed it. What the fuck is that? So, the man is like, um, yeah, we got, um, no, he was like, no, we don't have, um, pre because he said pre rollers, but he also said tree whatever so he was like no we don't we can't um legally sell anything with thc but we have cbb gummies um and cigs and like pre-rolled tbc 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 C girl cbd <laughs> it's the teleport it's whooping my ass i knew that shit didn't sound right i'm like wait what is tbc <laughs> Yeah, I was combining THC and CBD. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he was like, we got CBD gummies and like figs and then the pre-roll like with papers, CBD things. So he was like, no, I'm looking for something a little, that's a little more than that, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so here's the thing. Some smoke shops, cause the one, the smoke shop by my house got this. They have stuff with um, THC, but it's like, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but it's not enough to get you on cloud nine. That's what I do know. It's just enough. It's kind of like CBD, but maybe a little stronger. I don't know. Y'all correct me in the comments because I ain't never look into it. Because when I used to go to the smoke shops and stuff after I stopped smoking cigs, I only wanted CBD. I didn't want nothing with THC, none of that. Okay. So yeah, I don't really know about what they sell, but they, some of them do have stuff with THC in it. But it's not enough to get you on cloud nine, like I said. Keep that in mind. So he was like, we do have this, that, and the third. But he told him the percentage, and the percentage was like basically nothing. And he was like, he was like, that. that's basically nothing, you know? So um, he was like, well, yeah, we can't legally sell you enough to get you on cloud nine type shit. So whatever, they're going back and forth. And he was like, all right, thanks, man, whatever, da, da, da. I'm gonna go um, check out another spot because I'm just looking for this, that, and the third. And the man was like, well, dude, I don't think you're gonna find it because, you know, like I said, it's not legalized here, da, 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 da. Trying to just like really put him up on game so he don't waste his time trying to go find some THC at a smoke shop. You don't have a local tree, man. Like, how long have you been here? So that's what I'm thinking in my head. Shit, I almost gave him a little drive right number. Like, listen, I know somebody for you. <laughs> Let me stop. So, um, yeah, we walking out, and he was like, that, um, y'all, <laughs> this boy started going off. He was like, fuck. And mind you, he don't even look like he talked like that, and it don't sound right coming out his mouth. He was like, proper it it just he you could tell like he didn't grow up around it like you know it didn't slide off the tongue like it was natural it was almost like he said Fuck, nigga, with the hard er i'm like whoa too spicy for your tongue it's not for you this type of talk this lingo is not for you so yeah he started going off on a boy like it was a boy fought that texas is also on bs and not selling this shit legal so he was like nah um i'm gonna go to another one and blah 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 basically saying that he gonna find another one so he on his phone and shit and I'm like, I'm telling you, like, you're not going to find it. Trust me. Because if you were to find, I mean, I feel like, I'm not going to lie. I know somebody that, um, they got into an accident and they needed a prescription for it. And they did get a prescription, but you got to go through a lot of stuff. And the dosage is still very, very low. Like, you probably won't even get a buzz. Like, if you're a real smoker, you probably won't even get a buzz off of it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he's talking about going to another one. I'm like, don't waste your time. Like, let's just go get some food because that's why I'm 
following you? Did you forget about the food? Cause you so, you should've just got a bank if that's the case or hit up your local tree man. But yeah, so anyway, he did end up saying that his local tree man is out of commission for a little bit. I don't know if he went for the pack to touch down or what, but he ain't got it right now. So he trying to go to vape shop and stuff. So I could tell that he was new here because anybody else, like they will have multiple tree mans. Cause like, if you from here, you got a backup. You got several backups. So he don't know nobody. So okay, whatever. I'm like I said, I almost gave him my ex number. Little dry dry. I got somebody for you. You know, that would have put a little money in our pocket, but it would have been awkward as fuck. So I was like, no. Anyway, so yeah, he was like, all right, um, what you trying to eat, whatever. And I was like, well, you said the food spot that was around here, like, you know, let's go there. It was a seafood place. And you know, I'm always in a mood for a seafood boil. But honestly, to be honest, I'm glad we didn't go to that place because I went to that place with my best friend like a few years ago when she came, disgusting. So he was like, all right, let's go, follow me, whatever, follow me. So I'm like, okay, bet I'm gonna follow you to the place because we had, um, we decided on another place like further down, right? So long story short, I'm following him and he is driving like a bat out of hell, speed racer, NASCAR racer, like he just going, too fast too on these like main streets he go on highway um speed limits on the main street weaving in and out of traffic i'm not doing that houston drivers cannot drive as it is already um so yeah i'm following him and then i ended up losing him now i feel like that was a sign from the universe to be like all right bitch you done lost him head home bust this gooey head home go play with your makeup but before I could finish the whole entire thought, because I did briefly think about it, my phone is ringing. And he was like, oh, oh, where you at? Where you at? You're not behind me. How do you expect me to be behind you, NASCAR? How? And then on top of that, this ain't even no NASCAR for real. It's a Honda Accord with a souped up engine, a revved up engine. Are you proud of that? You done took your baby mama car. Wow, I'm not even there yet, y'all. I'm not even there yet. <laughs> This is hindsight speaking because at the time I didn't know none of this. But I did know that his engine was making noises of like a race car or an expensive car. But it was a Honda Accord. Nothing wrong with the Accords, baby. Nothing wrong. I started with a Civic. It's cool. But don't be trying to like stunt on me like you got it, like your car's the shit and my car can't keep up, baby. First of all, I'm driving a big body ass Tahoe. I could never weave in and out of traffic like you. So, yeah, he was trying to get in on me, like, go in on me, like, yeah, I don't even know. Like, yeah, no, what did he say? <laughs> Wait, because he kind of came for my neck. He was like, um, yeah, yeah that big ass Tahoe, okay, keep up. I don't even know how you reach the pedals for real. <laughs> that big ass motherfucker, da -da -da, just going in, like, I'm like, this ain't NASCAR, though. You even in and out like this NASCAR. I ain't call him this, and I was joking. But why are you coming from my head? So I had to come from him, come for him back. I'm like, that's a Honda Accord though. And you driving like you a speed NASCAR speed racer. And he was like, oh man, that ain't, that ain't even funny, man. You know, this engine cost. Then he started breaking down how much the engine cost and this, this and that. Sir, you came for me, I came for you back. I thought you could take it. Next thing I know, we, um, I look up, mind you, we still on the phone, I look up. We got another smoke shop. I'm thinking the whole time we finna like, he done um, GPS the food place and that's what we about to pull into. We pull into another like little plaza thing and he pulling right in front of the smoke shop. So I'm like, oh my God. And I know what you're thinking because I was thinking this myself. It was like this little voice in the back of my head just saying, drive off, drive off, drive off, drive off, drive off. So I, I know y'all thinking like, bitch, you ain't drove off yet? No, I, I didn't drive off yet. <laughs> so we get out the car. Excuse me, we got the car. And I'm like, why are we at another smoke shop? And he was like, man, I just need to get these pre-rollers right quick, da, da, da. And I'm like, I guarantee you, when we go up in there, he gonna say that they don't have them. Like, no place sells them is not legal. Like, who is gonna risk their business to sell you some pre-rolls for the low low? Just because, like, why would they even have them? You know, I don't know, I'm just saying all kinds of shit. So he was like, I bet you they don't have them, I bet you I've come across them before, da da da. Well, go, how about you go back to the area? This is what I'm thinking, I ain't say this, I ain't say I'm not completely rude. I could be rude, but I'm not completely rude. I'm thinking like, how about you go back to that area, try to remember where you came across it, go and get them from there instead of riding around wasting my time. You need a backup tree man, damn, I promise you I was gonna pull out a little Dre Dre business card. 
he needs to be in his car so I can just go around <laughs> giving them the people. Hello, police. But anyway, yeah, this fool said, um, yeah, he's just talking about how he came across him and stuff before. And he ended up saying, um, if they got him in there, you got to give me a kiss. I'm like, why would I give you a kiss? That's so random. And he was like, because this our bet, you know, da -da -da, whatever. Just trying to spit that weak ass game. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. But I'm like, mm, he kind of cute. Uh, no, at the same no. On one hand, I was like, he kind of cute, whatever. On the other hand, I'm, I don't know where you've been. So I was like, um, what what's gonna happen if I win? And he was like, um, we could go right, we could go right to eat if you win. Da 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 da. So I'm like, all right, man. <sighs> Y'all took the bet, and you know what? I took it because I'm like, I know they not finna have the pre rollers. <laughs> not me calling the pre rollers. I know they not finna have them in here. So he walked right in. Oh, what's up? Um, I'm looking for pre-rollers. You know, the pre-roll J's. Da, 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 the dude was talking to him. And he was like, um, no, no, no. He didn't say J's yet. He just said pre-rollers. And the guy was like, I'm not sure what you're talking about. And he was like, you know, the J's that's pre-rolled already. And da, 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 you know, because I, I, I usually vape. Like, just, I told you he loved to hear his stuff talk. He just going on and on how he usually vape. But this, this, and that, and whatever. So the guy was like, oh yeah, for sure, I got you, for sure. Let me let me get a few packs down. So I'm like, oh, hell nah. And he looked at me like, yes, yeah, see, I told you, bitch. <laughs> so he just gave me that look. So I'm like, oh, shit, now I got to kiss him, my oh, lord. Not, not that it was a big deal or nothing. But um, so the man come back, and he come back with what I what I thought. Because for, for one, I recognized one of the packs because it was the same type of um, CBD cigs that I used to smoke. So I knew that was CBD automatically. So when I saw that CBD pack of like cigs, I'm like, oh yeah, all everything he bought down is CBD. I already know. So um, he come back and he was like, yeah, so this is our CBD right here. This is, these are the cigarettes. They mimic like this, da, da 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 They help you with sleeping, whatever. They relax you, whatever. He just breaking it down, everything. And then he pulled down the other thing that the man had, which is the CBD like rollers, like with papers. You know how when you roll up with papers instead of a gar? He, he had that for CBD. CBD, I mean. And then... Um, he mentioned the gummies and all like the little candies and treats, whatever. So he was like, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about anything with um, THC and da 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 just going in like, yeah, I've come across it and I know some places do it and blah, blah, blah. Basically trying to finesse him into like being like, yeah, you know, we got it for the low, but I don't tell anybody. I don't know. Let me stop mocking him like that. But that's kind of how he sound. I ain't finna lie to do that. The, uh, the dude that worked there, he did have that like, he sound like a surfer dude, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that that's what he was gonna say he trying to finesse like you know i'll come across and i know y'all be doing it on the low low whatever and i'm just like boy you too proper for this shut up and he not buy he not buying it like i feel like if somebody came in doing what sean was doing and talking the way that he talked you try to get my business shut down because you know they be having like secret shoppers come in to see if you'll sell to like um people under 18 i mean under 21 without checking their id for liquor stores and i feel like they got that for um smoke shops too so i don't think you one of them get your ass out you ain't finna trick me sir and so the man was like nah dude that's not even legal here i don't know who you've got because they're not supposed to be doing it and you shouldn't buy from them and blah blah blah, blah, blah. just giving him this whole speech so they're going speech to speech i'm like oh hell i'm about to walk the fuck out because they both talking too much at this point yeah so long story short they went back and forth and then sean eventually ended up leaving because he was trying to finesse talk him and the cashier just wasn't having it so i'm like this is pointless i'm like it's really not legal here so they won't have it blah blah, blah. i'm trying to speed up the process so sean could be like cause so sean could shut up and walk out because you're not getting nowhere. He don't have it and he not going to sell it to you. And even if he was selling it, he's only going to sell it to who he been selling it to. You know, trusted people. You feel me? So, yeah. Anyway, we end up walking out. He irritated again. Like, all I'm trying to find is some CBD. How hard is the shit? Da -da -da. It's never this hard in Arizona. Whatever. So, he brought back up Arizona. And I'm like, okay, this is the perfect time for me to be like, ain't, nigga, ain't you from Tennessee? Because you said you was from Tennessee not even an hour ago. So I'm like, why you keep talking about Arizona? I thought you was from Tennessee. And he was like, what? Tennessee? Why would you think that? It's something like that. And I'm like, because that's what you said. You said you're from Tennessee. You said, you said my, my name is Sean. I'm from Tennessee. You know, I'm new around here. I don't really know nobody. Da -da -da -da. So I'm telling him that because memory A1. 
And he was like, nah, I never said that. I, I never said that, bro. I'm from Arizona. I'm from Arizona. So I'm thinking, not this nigga trying to gaslight me. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. I'm not. So I'm like, I'm gonna just let it go. And But that's like strike four in my head. Mind you, no, nah, not strike four. He probably was on like strike two. Because the first strike was you coming at me in my Tahoe. That was strike one. Um, mind you, I didn't know like what essence. I didn't know he was giving off like ugh, the Sean essence because this was way before Sean and Olivia like ever was even thought of. She was probably like I don't even know, fifteen at this time or fourteen. I don't know how old that girl is. I'm dragging she said it. She twenty, but she looked thirty-seven. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this was before them, so I didn't know he was giving me the Sean essence. But something about him was kind of giving me the ick. But because he looked decent, I'm like, all right, let me stop being picky because I know it's hard out here for a pimp. Like, the dating game is trash. I mean, the dating pool is trash. I mean, he's decent looking. He dresses decent. His attitude is a little iffy, but I don't know. The red flags was red, but like... Never settle, bitch. They wasn't flashing. I don't know. I wasn't getting it at the time. I don't know. So, um, what was he saying? He was just saying, like, yeah, whatever. I let it go. And he started talking about the movies so he was like um whatever i mean he i guess he let it go like temporarily i could tell that he was feeding for it though it's like like he hadn't had a tree in a while and i'm like bruh all you gotta do is go i'm thinking this i should have told him this too because it's true all you gotta do is go to your local gas station or any gas station like in a certain area and it's a tree man out there trying to get his product out there trying to push it so it's easy it's easy it really is but I'm like, I don't know. I ain't finna drag it. He started talking about the movies. And he was like, um, you want to go to the movies or anything like that? Whatever. So I'm like, all right. We went from food to the movies. But it's fine because the movies got popcorn and stuff. Depending on which one we go to. So I'm like, yeah, we could go to the movies. He was like, all right. So what movie theater you like to go to? Like, what's the one? Whatever. Trying to hype me up. Like, to let me know which one you want to go to. And that's the one we going to go to type shit, right? So I'm like, oh, okay. We can go to iPic. Because, you know, like iPic. It's a few movie theaters that are my favorite. Because, like. The ones I go to is the ones that like provide you with blankets. You know, they come to you, take your order for food. They have like food, not just popcorn and stuff. And you know, you got your little pods and you're separated from everybody, you know, so it feels. And then the ones that I take my baby to when I'm like going on dates with her, cause I take my baby on dates. So yeah, yeah, I'm like, I pick. And he looking it up and stuff. And he was like, all right, let me see what movies are showing, whatever. So he going on there. And he select the movies and the seats and stuff. And he was like, 20 not matter of fact it was a little over 20 dollars because it, i think it was like a premium showing or whatever so um he was like so let me let me just say 22 dollars whatever i don't remember the exact price but i know it was in the 20s he was like 22 dollars for a movie ticket bro what, why why is the movie tickets 22 dollars bro and i was like that's how much they usually are at i pick like you know so he was like, no, nah, let me let me look up another what's another one that you like because $22 for a movie ticket, bro? Like, that's 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 a little much for me. And it's just a, a movie ticket. So I'm like, all right, Memorial City Mall. They have a movie theater and the tickets are like 12-ish, 10 to 12-ish dollars. So I'm like, well, the mall, you know, the mall got a movie theater in it, whatever, and it's like, you know, regular. It's not like they're not gonna upcharge you for no premium stuff. So he go up on there and I want to say the tickets was like 12 or $13, like literally. And he was like, what happened to when tickets was $10? Excuse me. So I'm like, when, when the last time you've been to the movies? Because tickets haven't been $10 in a minute. Like they really haven't. They're either like 10 to 12 or $13, something like that. So, um... So he was like, nah, t movie tickets, they taxing and da-da-da-da, bro. This, bro, da-da-da-da, bro. So I'm like, all right, I see where this is headed. So I'm scrolling on my phone, right? But I I'm not trying to make it obvious because at the same time, like, I can scroll and still be looking you in your eye. But, like, my peripheral can kind of see. So I'm doing this, like, glancing down every other second or whatever. But the whole time I'm going to my settings, and I'm just pretending like I'm scrolling on Instagram, going to my settings. Uh-huh. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the search bar. I'm going to type in ring town. Mm -hmm. I'll fake the phone call. I sure did. And I don't care because I need to get up out of this situation <laughs> as smoothly as possible. So I fake the phone call. And um, I was like, one thing about it, I can talk to myself. Are you okay? You good? 
No, I'm on the way. I was, what happened though? No. No, see, you got to get it from around there. Send me the address right now. Okay, no, no. Send me your location. I'm there. Okay. What? I am. I'm coming. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I'm coming now. No. Okay. Okay, walk. Walk to where you need to go and, and send me your location. Get away from there. Get away from him. Yes, get away from him because we don't. No, nah, because you need to call the police for real. Because why he think he can do all that to you? Bro, I'll drag that shit out of it. I'll drag that shit by his edges. I promise you. So, yeah, I'll take a phone call just like that, ho. Just like that. <laughs> Put me on TV. Eastwood, what's up? What's up? Quinta, hello? Anyway, why are you staring at me? So, yeah, I did that. And he was like, oh, what, what happened? What happened? I, I'm definitely dramatic. And I own that bookie. Can I hug you? Yes, you can hug me. And he was like, what's going on? I'm like, no, I got to go pick up my friend. She, she in a... I didn't say pickle. Why did I almost say pickle? Because I don't ever be like, yeah, my friend is in a pickle. I would never say that in real life. I forgot what I said to him for real. But whatever. Basically, it equivalated to my friend is in a little pickle when I got to go get her. So, um, yeah, I did that. And he was like, all right, well, let me get your number so I can hit you up and blah, blah, blah. So I just go ahead and give him my number because, listen, I was ready to get the fuck. And I dipped out because, yeah, so... If anybody was like, girl, why you ain't drive away? I finally drove away. I finally drove away. I just felt like I needed to do it like safely, you know? So I went home, played in my makeup, and I was reflecting like, girl, something is off about him. Like, he's a liar for one. But I don't know. Like, I didn't think too much into it because like I said, the red flags was there, but they wasn't flashing. So I went home and I really just went about my day, to be honest. And then my baby came home the next day. So fast forward, right? And he texted me, I'm texting back a little bit, entertaining him a little bit, giving him the bare minimum amount of, of attention. And a few weeks ended up going by and it was like me and my um me and my ex don't have like a, a this weekend, that weekend type of schedule. It's kinda like if I hit you, be available type of thing. And that works for us because you know, I, I'm um let me see. <laughs> Cause I'm not trying to throw no shade, but 98% and he got the rest of the percent. So I'm the I'm doing the most of the work. So if I hit you, just be available. And which I don't hit him a lot. So that's why it works for him. Like my baby's with me, like, like I said, 98% of the time. So so yeah, he hit me and it was like the weekend. And he was like, um, basically, are you trying to go back to the galleria? And I was like, yeah, for sure. We can walk around the gallery or whatever. The gallery is so big. Like, especially if you just want to talk. Because he was like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to talk and get to know you in person. All this texting, whatever. He was saying that before. So, I'm thinking like, yeah, especially if you want to talk and like try to get to know somebody. We can walk around the mall. That's cool with me. That's a chill time. So, yeah, we ended up meeting at the mall. And where did we meet at? We didn't meet in the parking garage. But somehow we still parked like in the vicinity of each other, which is crazy. Sometimes, y'all, sometimes I was like, is this following me? Because so I swear sometimes I would see like a Honda Accord that sound like his. And I'm like, is that someone so? That's why I be memorizing um license plates now because I don't play like that. I swear I would see a Honda Accord zooming through the street. Maybe it's because like when you... um familiar with somebody's car you start seeing that car or like you get a new car and you start seeing your car everywhere i felt like that situation was happening like i noticed he had a honda accord so i started seeing honda accords with souped up engines just booming all through the houston streets everywhere girl i'm like this nigga following me but yeah so we met at the elevators like the way that we went in you walk in through like it's like a a eye place where you get like your prescription glasses or whatever and then there's the elevators that take you to the floor and i always go to the floor with forever 21 and agassi and um all that extra stuff over there and yeah so i'm like yeah we can meet there so we met at the elevators and it's cool we just walk in the mall and he was like yeah you know i'm trying to i'm trying to hit the y'all he started dropping every single name brand store i swear it's like he googled luxury stores in the gallery and mall and just like went through all of them. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the, the Gucci store, the, the 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 this store, the Christian whatever store. Like, girl, I mean, I was like, boy, <laughs> is this supposed to be impressing you? Oh, pause and back it up. Because before that, he was asking me how big my purse was. So fucking random. He was calling me. 
And I answered, he was like, yeah, you got your purse on you? And I was like, yeah. He was like, how big is it? And I'm like, mm, it's not that big. It's kind of like a crossbody purse, but I could wear it like the other way, whatever. Started giving him too much detail. And he was like, oh, okay, you think my, my thing would fit in there? My pew pew would fit in there? And I was like, no, it's not big enough for a pew pew to fit in. Like, the thing, you got to leave that in your car. What you need it in a mall for? And that's what I was saying when he was, like, trying to be fake, like, hood or whatever. But it didn't fit him. Like, I don't know. It, it just seemed forced, whatever. So, anyway, I get up in there. Oh, you know what? Let me tell y'all what we had on. So, like I said, he had on, like, the tightest dress pants probably on the planet of earth if he would have bent over he would have split his pants like spongebob and then he had on like this tight short sleeve muscle shirt like so freaking i'm telling you his shirt was damn near tighter than mine and that's cool though that's cool but don't act like you super dressed up in designer i'm gonna get there because if i start going in on him now y'all gonna be like girl you hating but he the one that was coming for my head every chance he got i felt like he came for my head and then he had on some dress shoes i'm like oh, okay it looked like he about to like go on somebody's date low-key his pants was just very tight and i felt like he just wanted to walk around and let everybody see his print because why are your pants that tight i thought we was just gonna walk around the mall super casual right so i got on some jeans a crop and my crossbody like real real casual but it's cute it's something that you could dress up right and i'm in, i'm in all black and um yeah my face was be a cute accessory whatever i looked real cute but it was very casual because this is the mall you know and if you don't let me know what type of time we on if you say yeah let's go to the mall you don't let me know what type of time we on i'm gonna come casual because it's the mall and i know we're gonna do a lot of walking i'm not gonna wear heels to the mall ever and when i ain't gonna lie because i did used to wear wedges to the mall but i knew what type of time we was on we was trying to be cute and we was trying to look like we weren't stealing because girl you can't wear wedges and run so if i know i'm looking hella cute you ain't gonna think i'm stealing but yeah so that's what we had on right keep that in mind so anyway we walked around the mall and he tried he named all these stores he was like yeah you got a store you want to go on to hell yeah nordstrom's nordstrom's so we go up into nordstrom's he was like yeah so what you like to get up out of here da, 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 da. he going he was like yeah you like these shoes you like these y'all he was picking up bedazzled nothing wrong with this because sneaker wedges used to be the thing back then i used to have me two pairs of sneaker wedges that i used to bust down regularly like that was a part of my outfit but granted i was like 18 I don't even know if I was 18 when I was wearing sneaker wedges. I was probably a little younger. But yeah, um, he was picking up bedazzled sneaker wedges, baby. I ain't seen nobody in a sneaker wedge. I'm surprised they still making them hoes. I ain't seen nobody in them in so long. So I'm like, nah, they okay. But like, I don't, sneaker wedges not really my thing. He was like, man, nah, you don't got no taste. You don't got no taste. See, I could see you in this, with this, this, and that. And the outfit he was describing was it just sound tacky. I just pictured it hideous. I don't know. Maybe we weren't thinking about the same thing. So I'm like, I really came in here for the makeup. So he was like, oh, okay, yeah, what kind of makeup? See, I don't I don't think you really need makeup like that. You look cute. Mind you, I got makeup on. He's talking about I don't think you need makeup like that. It's not like I'm bare faced. Not like, you know, it still eats bare faced. But I don't do my makeup for men. I don't do it for the male gaze. I do it because makeup is a craft. It's kind of like an art. Not even kind of, it is. And I just like playing in it. So yeah, he was like, yeah, I don't think you really need the makeup and da 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 da. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get um, these samples because I don't give a fuck what you think. And I got all my samples in a little baggie too. And I got some perfume samples and everything. He was like, dang, see, I don't, that's too much. I don't even think you need all that. I don't, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm gonna get it. So yeah, we just talking and stuff and we leaving Nordstrom's and he was like, yeah, that scent that you sprayed on you smelled real good. What was that? That it was some Tom Ford beach. I'm not gonna lie, at first the Tom Ford smelled like real peppery, but when it dried down, he was like, yeah, that smelled real good. You should have got that one, you should have got that one. And I was like, yeah, I really do like it. He was like, what was it called again? And I think it was called like fucking fabulous or something. So yeah, we walk it past, um, I don't know what store. I want to say it was like Chanel or something. I don't know. It was Coach. He, he picking up the shoes, like Chanel shoes. I mean, I don't know. I never really, like the sneakers. Never really like the sneakers and stuff. You could give me some basic sneakers. You give me some Chucks. 
you can give me some whatever. At one point, I was hiring on Hirachis. I never got a pair of Hirachis, but I loved them so much. You can give me a pair of them. I don't need no designer sneakers, especially when I know, like, I'm going to mess them up or whatever. So, he was like, yeah, I can see you in these, whatever. You like these, you like these. And I'm like, they okay. Yeah, they nice. And he was like, I knew you ain't had no taste. Come on, I knew you ain't. Like, I, I'm a, I'm a, what that man said? He said, I'm a, um, yeah, I'm going to have to level you up and da 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 See, I can tell just by the way you came out today that you need to be leveled up and blah, blah, blah. Cause I, so, I'm like, what you mean? Like, we walking around the mall and this is like, you know? Like, what's what's wrong with what I have on is basically what I was saying. And he was like, I could tell by how you, like, um came to the mall and presented yourself. And I was like, what the fuck? Confused as hell. So, he was like, yeah, see, my girl, when we go out, she gonna at least have to have on a heel. You could have put a heel with that and it still would have been cute. And blah, blah. Not cute. He didn't say cute. He used male terms, but I'm just... I don't remember the words that he said, y'all, because I swear I was zoned out because I told y'all he loved to just hear himself talk. He basically was like, um, you, you just like, yeah, you looking a little too like, um, casual, like you, you real casual right now. And it's the way that he said casual. I'm like, boy, you might as well just call me a basic ass bitch. Cause like <laughs> it was something about casual that screamed basic ass bitch. So yeah, he was like, see these, these coach shoes. Did I say Chanel? I meant coach. If I said Chanel, I meant Coach. And I don't, I don't necessarily care for Coach shoes, but he was really trying to convince me to get a pair of Coach shoes. I'm like, bro, if you want me to have these Coach shoes so bad, then how about you buy them? That's what I'm thinking. I'm not finna buy no Coach shoes. I, they're just really not worth buying to me, like, bro. I get a purse before I get Coach shoes. You know, mind you, this fool is walking around the mall with his shades on, did not take his shades off. And in the moment, I wasn't thinking nothing of it. I'm like, okay, maybe it's part of the outfit. Because, you know, <laughs> I done wore shades before and not take, taking them off. Granted, I was outside when I did that. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with wearing shades on the inside either. Because I've done that too. But, like, he would not take these off. Like, the, the lights in the mall, the lights in the whole mall could have went off. And he would have still had these shades on, I feel like. So, I'm, but thinking back, I'm like, he wasn't trying to have nobody notice him or something. Ooh, I'm real stuffy. I don't know why. So, yeah, um, whatever. We get off the coach and we just walking around the store. He talking stuff. And I, it, it was crazy because I was torn. I was torn because one, on one part, like, he was cool. Like, when we started talking and stuff and he started talking about, like, his, like, person, not personal business, but, like, his past and his experience and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, he's really cool down on earth. But on other, on the other hand, I'm like, it's something about him that's just, like, screaming, I'm fronting, I'm a front fronting ass nigga i don't know it was something fraud about him i just couldn't because the way he talked and how he he was forcing the hood thing and but you could tell that really wasn't him deep down i don't know if he felt like he had to act like that because he moved here and he was around certain people don't know literally so next thing i know he asking me like yeah so what kind of fragrances do you like fabulous by tom ford the one that i got a sample of from nordstrom's but i noticed that we was walking by bath and body works and he was asking me and I was like, um, he was like, you like this, um, shit? like, he said, you like this bullshit or something. Like, trying to go in on Bath and Body Works like it wasn't shit. And he was like, yeah, you be buying this cheap shit, something like that. Um, and he was like, what's that other one? Um, um, and I was like, um, Victoria's Secret? Because that's the closest thing to Bath and Body Works, right? He was like, yeah, yeah, you buy that bullshit. And I was like, sometimes, because I do. Like, I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with Bath and Body Works. And Bath and Body Works is good for layering. Like, I found a scent that smelled like Baccarat slash Ariana Grande cloud. So, I found a lot of good scents that I like from Bath and Body Works. So, don't even try to play them like that. So, I'm like, yeah, sometimes he was like, yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna go up in here and see my baby mama. Um, wait, no, he said it so fast and slick. Hold on, let me try to do it like him. Yeah, my baby mama like this bullshit. I'm finna see if what they got up in here. He said it so fast and slick that I thought I was tripping. I thought I was tweaking. I'm like, I know this nigga ain't just saying he finna go get his baby mama some shit. Like, or he finna... Because that's what it sound like. Like, he didn't literally say it, but it sound like, yeah, my baby mama like this bullshit. I'm finna get her a few things. But he kind of worded it different. Like, yeah, I'm finna see what they got up in here. What? So I'm like, oh, you got kids? And he was like, yeah, I got a few. You don't got no kids, do you? Bitch, <laughs> I mean, boy, you cannot. The way he asked was like, yeah, I got kids, but you ain't got none, do you? 
So I'm like, yeah, I have a child. I have a daughter. And he was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, um, you, um, what did I say? I said something like, you said you finna get something for the kids. Cause I'm like, I know I ain't tweaking. And then on the other hand, I'm like, let me see if he finna lie because he is such a freaking liar. Mind you, I don't even know if I mentioned this, but I had caught him in several lies, several lies before this lie. So at this point it's giving pathological. Cause you lying for no reason. You don't even know me. You could just, I don't know. I don't know what you're lying for. So he was like, um, he was like, yeah, a little something, something. And I'm like, he's not, it was a text. It was a text. I'm like, he's a fucking liar. I knew it. I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew like all the gaslighting. No, it's gaslighting. I'm not tripping. He, he's a liar. So I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Y'all, my head was spinning. Granted, I know it don't probably sound bad, but being in the situation and catching this nigga in a lie, knowing that he has previous strikes on lying, like, y'all, I don't know. My head was spinning now. So I'm like, bruh, I know this ain't 2004, but am I getting pumped? Ashton, where the fuck is Ashton? I'm thinking that this fool is like, y'all, I'm an overthinker. I'm like, he is a YouTuber and I'm a part of his social experiment or uh, this is one of them like prank channels and he pranking me to see like you know what i'll fall for what i'll go for type shit i don't know i don't know what i thought but i'm thinking like yeah this is an experiment and i'm gonna be on somebody's channel looking dumb as hell so we walking around bath and body works and he asking me to smell stuff like you like how this smell you like how this smell what kind of smell you like da -da -da -da. Boy, I'm thinking not not this nigga got me shopping for his baby mama. So I'm dragging it at this point because I already know you a liar. So I'm like, I don't think kids care too much about like perfume and scents and smells and stuff. Like you could get them anything that smell sweet or whatever. Because at this point, I'm thinking he got daughters. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to do a little something, something nice for him, whatever. I just, just want to know like, what, what would your daughter like? Da -da -da. I'm like, my daughter do not, do not like wear perfume and stuff. Like she wear lotion and how old are your kids? And um, he was like, y'all, he said one of his daughters was like seven. And I think the other one was like nine or something, whatever. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Maybe, I don't remember if I was wearing perfumes. And y'all, no, no, no. I was wearing them body sprays from um, Walmart at the time. So I'm like, yeah, anything sweet, you know, sugary, bubblegum smelling. That, that was all me back then. I don't even know why I was wearing sprays back then. But fast forward, right? We off the Bath and Body Works stuff. He ain't, he ain't even end up getting nothing. We just went up in there to smell shit. So um, we off the Bath and Body Works stuff and he asked me if I'm hungry. So I'm like, yeah, a little bit. And he was like, all right, so you ready to go? Whatever, I kind of want to go somewhere and sit down. Like, I don't want to do the food court or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. So we walked to the parking garage and he was like, I think it's easier if we just ride together again. So I'm like, nah, I'll just follow you there wherever we go. I'm like, where are we going? So he was like, shit, I don't know what's around here, what's close to here, what you like, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, it's a lot of things around. I'm like, it's a lot of stuff around here, whatever, whatever. So he was like, all right, I'm just look up food um, near me and like the Google Maps. That's what I told him to do, basically put food in the Google Maps and it'll put near me. So yeah, we walk into our, we trying to walk to our cars and I'm like, where you parked at? He was like, I parked over there. I'm like, oh, I parked just right here. Like, so we walk in. And he was like, you sure you don't want to really just ride together? I feel like that'll be easier, da 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 And I'm like, nah, I'll just follow you. I'll take my car and follow you. He was like, nah, but I really just feel like whatever. So he's just really insistent. And I'm like, jokingly, y'all, jokingly. I'm smirking at everything. I'm like, why are you trying to get me in your car so bad? Just really joking. And he was like, man, you can just follow me then. You just follow me. And it's really not no big deal. You can just follow me. Attitude on like seven. I'm like, what the fuck? And it was a switch because his attitude wasn't like that before, but you could see it was a clear switch. So I'm like, okay, I'll follow you. So I'm like, okay, so where did you want to go? Like, what did you have in mind? And he was like, no, I'm just going to look something up, right? So he was like, all right, just follow me, basically. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm following him, blindly following him, aimlessly following him. Y'all, tell me why we pull up to True Lux. Why? why did you look at the menu and mind you when he was like just follow me he kind of sat in the parking in his parking spot for a little minute so i'm like oh he really researched it because i'm watching i can see him from my car that's how close we parked together so when i see him pulling out i don't even know like close to 10 minutes had went by so i'm like yeah he really researched it. i'm not gonna call him like what you doing like what's let's go whatever i'm not gonna like try to rush him or nothing because i'm chilling i'm just scrolling and he was really looking up shit and he came up with true looks y'all 
I was like, hell no, hell no, I'm not trying to start true looks. Uh -uh. Immediately got flashbacks to when I went with uh, Janky and Old Girl and all that shit happened, which I put in another story time. I'll probably link that story time below, cause mm mm. So yeah, we get there. Before we parked or anything, because I think it was like valet, he was trying to valet. So um, he was. I was like, "This is where you want to eat at?" And he was like, "Yeah." How's the? You ever been here before? And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "How's the food?" Honestly, I was honest with him. The food is okay. It's like nothing special. It's really not. Not to me. It's not. Like I had the last. Ugh, mm -mm. It's not. It's not all that. So it's, it's. I feel like for the shit that I be ordering, I could go to Wingstop because one time I had the buffalo wings. Wingstop better and then cheaper. And then another time I had like the fried seafood platter. Lotus, better, cheaper. Like, mm -mm. so I was completely honest with him. He was like, all right, if you don't think it's worth it, and da, 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 then we don't got to eat here. So I'm like, yeah, because uh, it looked like you got a bad leg right here, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, he asked me like, what else is in the area? It's literally so much stuff in the area. So I'm like, um, it's a Papa's Steakhouse. Like it's a few burger places, it's a Papa's Burgers. It's like a lot of stuff in the area. And then I'm like, it's um oh sorry i'm like it's some stuff down westheimer too and he was like all right so um what you want to move for and i'm like anything like anything is cool like we can get a burger because it was like a a papa's burgers place and i never had the burger place um that was back when i was eating meat mind you i wasn't looking for nothing like super expensive at this point just like something quick to go that's why i was like oh yes yeah, the papa's burger place whatever up the street and he was like yeah i ain't, I ain't gonna move for no steak or nothing like that i ain't gonna move for no burger for real um what else is over here what, what else is down whatever in the area so i'm like there's a this there's a that i'm just naming everything y'all everything in the area and I'm like, further, further down West Timer, there's this, there's that, you know, there's a Chick-fil-A, there's a um, a Crafty Crab, because he said something about seafood. Um, there's a, literally everything, y'all. So he was like, nah, I ain't gonna move that. Uh, I, I kind of want some tacos, bro. I kind of want some tacos. So I'm like, oh, okay, um, I'm sure there's like a Torchies somewhere. Have you ever had Torchies? And he was like, no, what's Torchies? I, I don't know y'all I don't know I feel like Torchies is everywhere but there's yeah Torchies is like a taco place and and then I was like there's like a bunch of food trucks that sell tacos too because there's like this parking lot with food trucks and then there's just like little food trucks all around anywhere in, in different little lots so he was like nah nah is there a Taco Bell in the area taco who taco what so if I'm remembering correctly you said you didn't want to do the food court thing. You wanted to go somewhere to sit down and eat. We could have got Taco Bell at the food court. So I'm like, Taco Bell? Yeah, there's a Taco Bell literally in the mall. Like, so he was like, um, oh, all right. So you cool with going back to the mall? You trying to go back to the Galleria? And I was like, nah, I'm cool on the Galleria. So he was like, well, just let me know where you're trying to go. Like, I'm just trying to get something real quick. I ain't even trying to do all that. I ain't even trying to sit down and do do the most, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, we literally left the mob because you said that you wanted to go sit down. So I was very confused. So I'm like, I don't know. I just named all these places and like, there's this, there's that. So I started naming them again. And he was like, yeah, I know, but I ain't trying to, I don't know. I don't know. Let me, let me look something up. So I'm like, okay, I'm giving you hella options and you're just not trying to hear it. Okay, fine. Look it up then. So in the midst of him looking it up, right, he was like, um, is it okay if I put my thing, my thing in your car, my pew pew in your, in your glove compartment? So I'm like, why would you need to put it in my car? And he was like, I just, I, I just want to put it in your car. And I was like, is it registered? No, first I asked, is it registered? Then I asked, why would you need to put it in my car? And he didn't completely answer me because his phone started ringing. So I'm just, whatever. He walked up to the side and I'm just like, why the fuck would he need to put his um thing in my car? But I had made up my mind, like when he come back, I'm gonna say no, because I feel like when you ask me some shit like that and I'm taking off guard, I'll just be like, okay, just because I'm like taking off guard, but when I have time to think about it, I'll be like, no. And that's because I was kind of still a people pleaser back then, but now if you ask me some dumb ass shit like that, hell no, you cannot put your thing in my car. I do let, um, wait, because some people have put their thing in my car, and that's cool because I know you and shit. I know your shit is registered or whatever, but him, it's something about him I didn't trust. It's something about him that gave untrustworthy, it gave me the ick. It gave me pretender. Nah, don't put this shit in my car. Hell nah. So, yeah, he stepped to the side and he talking, right? So, when he come back, 
he was like, yeah, um, you want to follow me? I just feel like I, I want to drop off my car and you don't mind driving, do you? So I'm like, what, why Why do you need to drop off your car? Da, da, da. Yeah, he's going on and on with this lie, just, just saying shit. And like I said, I was on out because half the shit he said didn't even make sense. Or he would just talk in circles or just not even explain. He would just talk about something completely different. It was so weird. So yeah, he was like, then we could go get some food. We could just sit down. You know, I don't got to have Taco Bell. I mean, I'll go get a taco right now for a little snack. But when I drop my car out, we could go somewhere and sit down and da da da. Oh, y'all even know, um, I named a few Mexican restaurants because he said he wanted tacos and that nigga still chose Taco Bell in the end after I said torches. I named a few Mexican restaurants plus the food trucks and stuff. So I was like, uh, this, this man on some bullshit. I am so confused about what's going on right now. Like, I'm so, I don't know what to do. So mind you, while we talking and stuff, he texted on his phone and he was like, yeah, you know, I, I think my baby mama need the car to get around with the kids and blah, blah, blah. And then, mind you, the clues was already there, so he didn't even need to say that, but because I already knew. And then um, he said something like, yeah, and I'm really trying to find some tree. So, you know, if I could just, um, basically he wanted me to ride him around to find him some tree. And then we could go eat. That was his whole plan that he was like trying to tell me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that's why he being like kind of annoying. Because he was being very annoying. I feel like I'm leaving like little small details out that I can't remember right now, but he was being very annoying. So I'm like, oh, he hadn't smoked. That's why. So he was like, yeah, you know, we could ride around and you could smoke one for me. And, I mean, with me, not for me. <laughs> you could smoke one with me and da da da. So I'm like, this is how I know dudes don't understand, no, because I definitely told him several times that I don't smoke. So I said something like, no, I don't smoke. Like I haven't smoked in a few years and da da da, which I hadn't. Um, and when I say I didn't smoke in a few years, I meant like cigarettes. I haven't smoked cigarettes in, in like a, a little, oh, it's been a minute since I smoked cigarettes at this point. So he was like, um, a few years, you said you never smoked before. You never smoked at all. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> no, I didn't. He said something like, um, you said you never smoked or vaped before. And I was like, no, I said I don't smoke or vape like right now. Mind you, I've never vaped before. So, um, yeah, whatever. He's just trying to tell me what I said and I know what I said. I ain't been the one lying this whole time. Keep that in mind, sir. So he was like, nah, it's cool. I just asked you a simple question and you ain't have to lie about something so small like that. Whatever, he, he came at me sideways, came at my neck again and I'm like, I'm thinking I know, hell no, now you're projecting. That's 100% projecting because you've been lying your ass off this whole time. And I've been letting you slide like I actually believed you or like I didn't notice, like I was oblivious. And sometimes I'll see some shit, but I'll just let it play out. A lot of times I just, now I just want to see how far you finna take it. Like what you finna run with this and do. Cause now you doing the most. He going on and on. This boy love to get speeches, right? So he going on and on and he's just like, um, yeah, you know, you can keep it real with me. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, whatever he said, you ain't gotta lie or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember what he said verbatim, but he was like, yeah, you could, you could, you could keep it real with me. You know, I, I, I'm gonna show you the world, Aladdin. Like the same shit he was saying when he said he's from Tennessee. I'm gonna show you the world. But this time he was like, I'm gonna show you the world, but you know, you gotta earn it. And, and you know, we can't be just lying to each other and stuff like this. I'm like, bruh, you don't need to show me the world. Show your kids the world. Cause now that I know that you got two kids and a baby mama that you still probably messing with, show them the world. Go get your family back. Like dudes like this, you need to get your family back. Because you finna drop the whole entire car off to her. Y'all are clearly still together. And she think that you with her home, one of your partners, your homeboys. Come on now, you can't, I, I, ain't, I ain't new to this. I ain't new to this. I've been there, literally been in her situation before. So, he going on and on and on and on. And I'm like, this nigga really think that I'm finna ride him around, go find some tree for him, um, have his thing in my car and just listen to all these speeches that he like. I don't know how his baby mama do it. I really don't. Cause he like one of them preachy type niggas. I hate that so much. I feel like my ex was kind of like that. Just preachy, preachy, preachy. But he was like five times worse. I'm a dragon and say 10 times worse than my ex. Cause he loved to hear himself talk. So he talking and talking and talking and talking, right? Mind you, I'm just, I'm just like, 
I'm laughing, kind of giggling. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Da, 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 da. But it's like, I was kind of ignoring the majority of what he was saying and stuff for like a few little words. I don't even know how to explain it. I felt like I was in a damn trance. Finally, I snapped out of it. Cause he was like, yeah, so you gonna follow me? You gonna follow me back to the crib? And you know, I could drop my car off and then you could ride with me and blah, blah, blah. So we both pull out, he pull out. Oh, you know what? He was trying to make me, Um, he was trying to have me put his thing in my car. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. Just like when we get there, we can do all that, whatever. Like, let, let, let's just go right now. Cause I'm kind of hungry, right? So um, he pull out, he bust the right. I pull out, bust that same right. He's driving down, it's a green light. So I'm driving too, but I go all the way into the left lane. Yeah, I bust that right and I bust it all the way to the left. And I make that U-turn and I go about my motherfucking business. Yeah, skirt right off on him. Right off of him. And I drive around for a little bit because I'm like, damn, what if he bust the left too? I know what his car look like, but I like to be 100% sure. Like I said, that's why I be remembering um, license plates. Now, at least like the numbers, I mean the letters on the license plate, either or the numbers or the letters. Just to know if you follow me or not. So yeah, I drive around a little bit just to make sure he not following me. Because what if he saw me? Yeah, I'm driving around. Um, this nigga start call. He start calling me. <laughs> I was gonna say clawing me. He start calling me. Oh, that's the stick. That's the stick to my door. Um, yeah. So I'm not answering. I am not answering. I'm like, oh shit. And it's crazy because I had an adre adrenaline rush doing this because I really thought that he was gonna find me and like start following me and shit. So I'm like, oh my god, this nigga's calling. I mean, this nigga's calling me. What the fuck is he calling me for? I did not want to answer that phone, and I didn't answer that phone. So yeah, he called me like a good three times, not back to back, but like it had been like a minute, then he'll call again, then a minute, and then he'll call again type shit. So I'm just driving around, checking my rear view, making sure he not following me, like geeking, like, oh my God, this nigga, this nigga stupid, this nigga out his right ass fucking mind, just talking to myself, y'all. One thing about it, I will talk to myself. So yeah, then he started texting my phone and I'm driving. <laughs> Bitch, I have pulled over pulled over i think it was like a burlington a burlington parking lot by the galleria i pulled over i started reading the text message <laughs> i did not give a fuck that nigga said i'm a grown ass man that was this is childish as fuck um answer the phone i'm a grown man i don't play these type of games and if you was on bullshit you should have just let me know that and that i just going on and on in the text messages Blowing me up, back to back messages, back to back. And I hate when people just like, right, one line, send. Another line, send. Another line, send. Bro, say all that you gotta say. I don't even care if it's a paragraph. Just say all that you gotta say. Cause nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna read that shit anyway. So yeah, he's just going in. And I'm thinking like, bro, all you did today was play games. All you did from the time that I met you was play games with the CBD and the THC. All you did was play games with the Taco Bell. The everything, bro, the everything. Bro, trying to, um buy some stuff from bath and body works for your baby mama now you're talking about you got to drop your car off to her when that's most likely her car that you scooped up like like how jody did in that car now she want her car back jody quit playing with me stop playing with me you are not a grown ass man mind you he was mm, yeah he was older than me i, I was gonna say much older than me but like yeah no kind of he was um he did end up hitting me up again and I hit him back like, I don't have time for this either. I'm grown too, da 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 We going back and forth. He giving me speeches like, yeah, all I wanted was this. Like everything is not about that. If I wanted to just go get tacos and chill, then I thought you would be down for that because you seem real chill. Just like trying to mind fuck me like, bro, no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. I'm sorry. I still think I was being pranked at this point. I still think Sean is a YouTuber and I was a social experiment because there's no way he was that fucking weird. There's no way that he acted like that. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, y'all know the vibes. I'm not going to drag this out no more. Like the video um, on your way out if you ain't like it on the way in. Leave a comment. A chicken, anything in the comments because you know that's our thing. Make sure you are subscribed because YouTube be on that bull. And yeah, follow my social social <laughs> follow my social medias which is linked in the description so is um one of the other story times about me going to true looks whatever and yeah what else i'm gonna be putting new wigs on the website so yeah y'all definitely check that out um 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 i think that's it all right y'all bye okay don't come back in here love you though i love you like to the moon and back but don't come back in here <laughs> the girl she keep interrupting me my chill 
sir i don't even want to be in your presence another minute what you mean now i gotta drive you around what, what do you want to drop off your car for this nigga really thought that i was down for this plan like i would have to be the stupidest bitch in america to think that you just drop in your car off because he said that that was his car your car off to the mother of your child so she could have a way to move around with the kids does that not scream i'm in a relationship with her you could have kept it real so i'm like yeah yeah i'll follow you okay yeah 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 i'll follow you whatever i'm trying to play it off as smooth as i can i kind of want to call him pathological pathological come on quick quick i'm wasting time let me stop the camera stop the camera um <clears throat> oh you know what i know they got a um a food spot that sell it like um thc and the food and the drinks and stuff but this was before that that food spot just opened up now so just in case anybody in the comments like don't they got food spots and da 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 out there like they do now i don't know how it's weird i don't know i don't think honestly i don't think the dosage is high enough to get you there but anyway this is before that just in case anybody wondering I'm right here, baby. Right here, I'm right here. With the doors in my way. What's the wrong? Uh -huh. What's wrong, Booski? I know. I was in the room with you the whole time I was getting ready. Give me a kissy kissy. Did you brush them teeth? I'll take a kiss anyway. I kissed that funky boy. Here. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall, now I'm gonna stop <laughs> She basically was like, um, it's not enough toenail, it's not enough toenail. And I was basically like, make it enough, shit. So, <laughs> and I've seen her like struggling to do it, but literally another um, person that's done my toes have done it before. Um, so what she did was, tell me why this lady painted my skin to make it look like it lined up. So at first I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. She made it enough. Y'all, after one shower, look, you see how it's chipped right there? And I didn't notice it because she put the nail polish on my skin and it gave the illusion that she made it work. I went home, took a shower, and the damn polish fell off. It, it fell off. So I'm like, not this bitch painting my toes. <laughs> this bitch painting my toes. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. After my first shower, it lifted. That's how I realized it was paint on my toenail. Then after the second shower, it came all the way off. So I'm like, now she really painted my toe to give the illusion. She was dedicated. She was motherfucking dedicated. Get off the counter and bring me some hot onions, please. Love you, thank you. So one thing about it, I'm not gonna go back and forth with a delusional dead. <laughs> Why did I just call her dead? Anyway, oh, what was I saying? Yeah, I need a perfect vanity, y'all. If y'all got a vanity, DM me the link. I need a good old vanity, not too big, because I don't like the, I don't like the feeling of clutter. It make me feel like anxious. I don't know. Then I fuck around and throw everything away if I feel like shit is too cluttered. So just like a medium, not too small, not too big. So yeah, medium size vanity, either white or like brown. I wish I could show y'all my furniture, like like a mocha color type of vanity. Cause bitch, I got this video that I wanna do <laughs> and it's gonna have to be a judgment free zone. And I feel like I just need to be busy while doing it, like doing my makeup or something. And I've been looking for a vanity. I don't know, I just got this vision in my head that when I'm telling this certain story, I just feel like I, I envision myself doing my makeup and just like talking to the mirror and then glancing over at the camera like, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause you done been there too, let me stop. Like the universe was like, bitch, I told you. And since you ain't wanna listen, I'ma show you. And you still didn't wanna listen, I'ma rock your motherfucking world. Are you gonna listen? And I was like, okay, I'ma listen. I'ma leave that nigga alone, I'm done. And I was done ever since. But yeah, y'all already know it's gonna be about Dre. It's nothing recent, nothing recent at all. But <laughs> when um I hit him up, something was going on like, she would have like a, a birthday party to go to that, you know, that the grandma knew of a kid that was having a little party or whatever, or something, it was something, you know, that she would go to like a little pop-up shop and help out or whatever. So yeah, what you doing? What's that? I can't see this light in my eye. Not you gonna... <laughs> 
What do you have? Oh, she didn't get on my nerves. I'm trying to see what she got out the refrigerator. She stopped, paused, look at me in here and run away. <laughs> Knowing I can't see because they are relighting in my face. Bye, Nana. Oh my God, my baby baby is so big. She's not even a baby no more. I keep thinking, I keep treating her like she's like a three-year-old, but she's literally, she's such a toddler. You're still a toddler, I hope you know that, which is a baby. Yeah, you are. I'm just a, a six-year-old. I'm just a four-year-old. Now I'm just a seven-year-old. A ten-year-old. Why are you standing on the counter? A 14-year-old. Yeah. You, you don't even wear your house shoes. A 17-year-old. Ooh, this light. A 17-year-old. I'm about to go get her off this counter. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Stop, stop beat Baba down in here. Crazy stuff. Y'all, if you have kids, like, don't it be so crazy that one you oh, created another human and then you literally watch them grow up? Sometimes that shit just blow my mind. I know, but I know I'm going. Like I, I created I know a beautiful child that can talk. Let me tell you, so when I was five, right? Mm -hmm. I was growing a little bit taller. My baby's so pretty. She got those dimples that are like right here. But you don't have any. I know. Where did you get those from? Like, I don't did know. Did my dad have dimples? Mm -mm. Did my grandma have dimples? Mm -mm. No names. No, she don't have dimples either. Oh, mm -mm. <laughs> Baby, turn the TV down for me. Close the door. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> turn that TV down. Fuck her, beat you down. Oh, shit. Not you. Not her yanking a damn dog. And giggling. All right, Chucky, listen here. Seed of Chucky. It's time for me to go, you hear me go. <laughs> my bad, y'all. My baby be having the TV up so loud that I feel like I'm gonna get a damn copyright claim. Cause come on now, I can hear exactly what she listening to and exactly what show it is. Strike, strike folks. Matter of fact, I, we on strike. We on six strikes at this point. Cause bruh, it's time for me to go.